Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a torture test with the Magpul P-Mag GL9 Glock 19 magazine versus a Glock OEM Glock 19 magazine. We're going to check them out. There are some differences, but Magpul says it's extremely reliable. The handgun we're going to use is a Palmetto State Armory dagger. Let's first make sure both of these magazines are functioning as is. All right, very good. Slide locks back. And here we have the Glock 19 mag. All right, so we're off to a good start. We have two functioning magazines. Now, if we look at these, you can see that the Glock 19 mag here has steel inserts. This is primarily polymer. When you feel them, the Glock mag is much more sturdy. However, there is a price difference. At Palmetto State Armory right now, this is selling for $12.30. That's not bad. All right, so a lot of people said they like it. I had some people said they don't like it. It has a sight hole at the 15 round mark. This has steel inserts. Feels much sturdier. We know Glock 19 or Glock mags in general are really nice magazines. Every time a new gun is offered, people say, does it take Glock mags? Well, we know Glock does. So it's a more sturdy mag, $25. So half the cost for the Magpul P or GL9 mag, P mag. And you can see they are similar in size and weight. But the first thing I'm going to do is take this loose sand and gravel and everything else. Oh, by the way, I am using Freedom Munitions 124 grain ball ammo. So I'm going to take the P mag and move it around in the sand. All right, you can see I'm moving it around here, trying to get it all throughout. I'm gonna load five rounds of 124 grain. It's in there. And see if it can with, withstand some dirt and grime in it. I've got my coffee mug here that I'm storing the ammo. We'll see how it does. And you can just feel the, the crunchy loading. Prior to this, I will say that the Glock 19 mag loaded easier. I don't know if it's a spring issue. It just seemed to be an easier loading magazine. All right, here we go. Let's see how it did after rolling around in the sand. Very good. And now we have the Glock OEM mag. We're gonna do the same thing. Throw it all throughout. I was hoping to get a container that was see-through, but I think this will do the trick. You get the idea. Now, this has sight holes, so there are more areas for dirt to get into. Let's go ahead and throw some rounds in here. I have to believe that this will function fine, especially because the P-Mag did. It still is loading easier. So Glock has that advantage. They make great mags. You know, some of those off-brand Korean 31, 33 round mags, I don't like those. And I'm not convinced I like this P-Mag. But let's take some shots here after rolling around in the dirt. All right, so the first test, dry dirt. Now what we're gonna do is take some water and put it in there. And I've got, I'll we'll put a little more in there. And I've got a stick here. My table's pretty loose. But we're going to turn this loose dirt into mud. All right, so it's going to look like this. Sort of like a pancake batter. And this is going to be nasty. But we're going to check it out. Let's start with the P-Mag. All right, we're going to put it in there and move it all around, see if it can withstand this, because it, it did with the dry dirt, but I'm thinking this will be 
a little more torturous, if you will. And you can see that that's been pretty well covered in mud, dirt, and grime. I'll do a quick rinse off and we'll load five rounds. See how it does here. Here's, here are four rounds. And I imagine this is going to be rather crunchy. And it is. So here we have four rounds. I can tell already that it's getting more difficult to load. But it's battling those particles of sand. And it withstood it. I can feel that sand coming back at me. We're going to do the same thing with the Glock OEM mag. All right, I'm mixing it around. You can see it's all mud. Getting it all throughout the follower, even in those holes. I like the, the 15 sight holes that this offers. You can see where you're at with your mag. The mag pole does not have that. We'll rinse it off. Take four or five rounds here. Here are four. Throw it in the Glock OEM mag. Once again, it loads easier. So that's uh, an advantage there, but it's twice the cost. So that is worth considering. Here we go. Ooh, it's stuck a bit there. So far advantage, PMAG. Jam. Jam. Uh, Round is not going into battery and the slide is not locking back. All right, that is the Glock OEM 19 magazine. As it currently sits, the mag is inserted, it is locked in there, but the slide is not locking back. I have to believe that all those sight holes played a role in that. The PMAG is locking back. All right, so far advantage, Magpul PMAG, $12.30 versus the Glock, $25 19 magazine. I've got the PMAG on the left, the Glock 19 mag on the right. I positioned them both at the same part of the tread. I've got a Ford Explorer here. I'm going to back it up and see what happens. To me, it looks like they both survived. Let's go ahead and load them up. I did not rinse them off after driving over them. Let's start with the P mag. Five rounds loaded up. It does lock in. All right, did not go into battery. Let's see what happens. But it did fire. All right, so far I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting this. this. I thought that the steel inserts with the OEM Glock 19 mag would be more beneficial. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with both of these. The P mag is holding up to this torture test thus far. Here we have the P mag. I made it even more slimy. I loaded five rounds. There it goes. Here I have the OEM Glock 19 mag. There it goes. You can see how dirty and mucky it is. I am not going to rinse them off this time. Something has to destroy these mags. I, I'm looking for a clear winner. And you can see that that is a lot of grime. A ton of grime. We'll get it nice and even. Nobody can deny that these are both being tortured. Let's start with the PMAG GL9. It does lock in there. Did not go into battery. I'm keeping in frame here. Did not go into battery. And dead trigger. 
The next one did not go in the battery. And dead trigger. Same thing. And slide locks back. And that was a tight fit because it had all that dirt and grime. Here we have the OEM Glock 19 mag. Locks in. No battery and we've got an issue here. Let me drop the mag. See if I can hand load that. All right, I've got one in. See the way that is ramping up there, but not chambering. So I'll drop the mag again. I may have to hand load this again. Lock the slide back. Throw it in there, the chamber is very tight. And the same thing. So here are my results. And I will tell you that this was pretty interesting. I went into this thing expecting the PMAG to do horrible. And Primarily because it feels cheap. It is cheap, $12.30, and it doesn't have those steel inserts, which I think is a big deal, all things considered. And I truly thought that running over the P Mag and the Glock Mag at the same time, that this one would fail, and it didn't. This OEM Glock 19 Mag wouldn't chamber after the second mud test or it was uh, not going into battery, so it wouldn't chamber. This did. So for all intents and purposes, the results are not what I expected. For $12.30, the PMAG won. Still love Glock 19 mags, but the PMAG won. Did it win because it doesn't have those sight holes, therefore allowed less debris into the guts of the mag? Possibly. Is it a great mag? Some people say it is. Uh, I don't know, this is my first time actually torture testing it or anything, but it did perform very well. It actually outperformed the Glock 19 mag, which was shocking to me, and I'm pretty sure it would be shocking to some of you. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.